stimulus funded volatility, whenever there's a lot of money uh, with retail investors and, and people trying to get into the market, thanks to Robinhood, thanks to all these brokers, really making it easier to trade these speculative assets, don't underestimate them. What's up, Tim Sykes Millionaire Mentor Trader here doing a late night video, um, close to midnight. Uh, this is not gonna be a pretty episode. I'm about to pass out, but I told Pascal here that we need to film. Say hi, Pascal. Hey, everybody. Um, when there's a, a teachable moment, I want people to learn. I want them to take advantage. Um, lately, a lot of these OTC runners over the past few months, um, they've gone up five times, 10 times, 50 times, 100 times and I'm talking late 2020, early 2021. Um, ALPP, TSNP, uh, ENZC, OZSC, ALYI, ASTI, uh, OPTI, VPER, SING, VISM, um, the list goes on and on. And these are just a few you know, off the top of my head. It doesn't even matter. The point is, is that we've had this bubble a lot of stimulus funded volatility, lots of big runs in speculative companies. Um, you know, not even just companies, speculative assets, Pokemon's going crazy, Bitcoin is going crazy. Um, but now, as we're filming this, the last stimulus has just gone out. Maybe we'll get like a little bounce, maybe we'll get a little bit more, but more than likely, the madness is past. Everyone was anticipating the stimulus, the second and the third wave of stimulus people putting that into their brokerage accounts. But what you have to understand is that, you know, the stock market is very forward thinking. So some people say, well, you know, there's, there's stimulus happening right now. Like there's more people than ever. Like these assets now are down a lot off their highs. Um, the reality is, is that you need to take profits into strength. You need to lock that in. I warned all the way up. And frankly, I did very well. All those stocks that I mentioned, I didn't short sell them once. I know that there's like, promoter saying I short sold. I don't short sell right now. I don't think it's a good strategy. I'm sorry, I'm exhausted. I'm trying to just keep up with the longs, whether it's morning spikes, dip buys, or OTC first green days. All of those plays I bought. Um, TSNP in particular, or now TSNPD, because they did a reverse split. Um, guess what? You know That was my single biggest winning long in a while. And it's also not just because I'm tired. These, these lights are really bright. So I'm sorry, I'm, I'm looking like this, but we're, we're just gonna keep rolling because you need to hear me say this stuff out loud. I have never shorted TSNP. Um, they have this whole like army. Now you have lower price plays like LTNC, HQGE, GTLL. Um, they all have their little band of you know promoters. Never shorted any of those either. I have never, even when I did short years ago, I never shorted a stock trading at one, two, three, four, five cents a share. That's just stupid. Okay, like those low price stocks most likely will fail, but every now and then some of them catch fire as TSNP did, and it went from sub penny to over a dollar a share. Um, the teachable moment here is one, stimulus funded volatility whenever there's a lot of money uh, with retail investors and, and people trying to get into the market, thanks to Robinhood, thanks to all these brokers, really making it easier to trade these speculative assets. Don't underestimate them. That's lesson number one. Um, I underestimated all of them. You know, I, I'm not perfect. I still made mistakes. Um, but lesson number two from this whole bubble and kind of like this, this crack of the bubble, all those plays are like 50, 60, 70, 80, 90% off their highs. Lesson two is even if you underestimate them, that doesn't mean that you should say, oh, I underestimated it. Now let me get more aggressive. No, okay? I underestimated it and I accept that, but that doesn't mean that I'm then gonna chase. Um, a lot of people learn a lot of the wrong lessons during bubbles, you know? Frankly, if you had just followed these pumpers and held for several weeks or several months, you would have done well. One of my newest millionaire students who you're gonna see actually did that. He doesn't really know that much about day trading. He took a lot of them as swings. I think his biggest win was TSNP uh, and AITX. I don't even know if I mentioned that ticker. That was another one that ran. And he held for several weeks. That was a good profit for him, but it's very dangerous. He didn't know 
what he didn't know. Like he was, you know, ignorance was like bliss for him. Anybody who's like responsible and conservative, they never would have held those plays for several weeks because they're most likely going to fail or get halted. COUV was another big runner that actually got halted. Um, I rode that one up a little bit too. That was a little choppy. So even if I underestimate, even if you underestimate, that doesn't mean that you have to chase. And these big run-ups don't get confused with promoters who try to muddy the waters and everything. They say, look how much the stock went up. This is a solid company. No, just because a stock went up a lot does not make it a solid company. If you look at their SEC filings, if you look at their terrible financials, they're all pretty much junk, whether they're worth a tenth of a penny or two tenths of a penny a share or five tenths of a penny, they're all pretty much going to drop 90 to 95, maybe 100% um, over the next few months and years. And again, I don't want them to go down. I'm not short selling them, but I know how this pattern plays out. And right now, as I'm filming this, I'm getting a lot of messages from people down 50, 70, 90% who didn't listen to me on the way up. Even though I underestimated it, I turned out to be right that they would all come down. The promoters are wrong. So you really have to look into uh, how markets play out, stock market history. Don't get confused by promoters. Don't learn the wrong lessons. Um, you know, there are successful pumps. That doesn't make it a successful company. There's a difference. A lot of people are very confused in penny stocks. They think that the stock price is related to how good of a company it is. No, 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 no. Almost all of these penny stocks, and I, I should say all, but you never know, one of them might actually make it. Um, the vast majority of these penny stocks will fail. The promoters like to blame short sellers. They say that there's like a conspiracy and people like to believe that stuff, right? Like anybody but the promoters. The promoters are so nice. They said it was going to a dollar. They said, you know, just hold all day, right? It's going to go to like $10. The promoters are full of BS, okay? It's the promoters and the insiders who are selling into these run-ups. There's a reason why the promoters don't show all their trades. I dare you to ask any friendly promoter in you know some discord chat room on twitter on stock twits on telegram on whatsapp they're all over the place and ask them show me all of your trades your entries and your exits be ready to be ignored or blocked i'm not necessarily the best trader but i show every single trade the way that i teach the way that i've learned is through my own mistakes i want to show you my entries and exits my thinking whether I underestimate, whether I overestimate, whether I miss a play, that's how you learn. I'm so sick to death of these promoters saying, never take a loss, just hold. They are trying to get people to hold their pumps because otherwise their pumps would fall. It would be you know, a house of cards collapsing. Just because we've had this stimulus funded bubble does not mean that these companies are going to be good going forward. Um, and I think a lot of people will be surprised actually how bad it is. I'm gonna post two links below this. I've tweeted these two links hundreds of times uh, before. You know, one of them is my men's journal article where I warned about weed companies. The Wolf of Weed Street was the promoter. He was saying everything's going to the moon. It did go up because weed stocks were hot and he was you know, in the right place at the right time. But he lost 90, 95, maybe 100% of you know, various stocks in various places because they all crashed, okay? The same thing with crypto. They have these booms and then they have their busts. Do me a favor, do yourself a favor, learn to sell into strength, learn to ride the hype, but never ever believe it. And I'm not saying that you have to short sell. Don't mistake my bluntness and you know real lessons for being like a negative Nancy where I'm like, these companies are all, they should be bet against. No, you don't know how long a bubble is gonna last. You don't know how long the pump is gonna last unless you're in on the pumps, which you know I'm not a promoter and I don't think anybody really should be. You shouldn't want to be a promoter. But for sake of this you know, video, you should learn that the, some of the worst companies can spike a lot, okay? That's what's going on here. And I just am so sick to death of these promoters trying to twist it and say, look how much the stock is up. We're obviously a good company. And then they say that I'm a short seller, which is a lie. Um, it's my honor to cut through the BS. It's my honor to teach um, just honestly, you know, that's really what I'm trying to do here. So read that men's journal article. I'm going to link it below. I'm also going to link um, a video that I did um, at this Vancouver conference, which was like the, the home of like the penny stock promotion, all these miners and everybody. This was years ago and, you know, gold wasn't going up that much. Minerals weren't going up that much. Everyone's like, how do I enhance, you know, shareholder value? I was like merged with a Bitcoin company and everyone laughed. 
Bitcoin has now gone up you know, 50 times since that conference, but I'll post that video where I just cut through all the BS. I'm so sick of all the promoter BS. I'm grateful that they play these games and that promoters, frankly, and promotions are, you know, if you know how to search them out and you know what to look for, like they're clear as day. But you have to be cynical. You have to be willing to understand that sometimes I'm gonna buy pumps. Okay, I've made millions of dollars buying pumps. In the past, I made millions of dollars shorting too. But right now, I don't think it's a good time to short. I do like the idea of buying pumps, but I underestimate them because I never know when they're gonna crash and or get halted like COUV and several others. Uh, the SEC halted like, like two dozen uh, promotions. And that can happen at any time. These are the absolute worst companies. Share this video, leave a comment below if you like my bluntness, if you like these you know, midnight video lessons before I'm about to pass out. Um, I'm just trying to share 20 plus years of lessons with you. I never had a teacher. I wanna be the teacher to you that I never had. 90% plus of traders lose. Education, this is your only chance. You choose. Leave a comment, let me know if you're gonna be dedicated or if you're gonna be broke, confused, and lazy. You choose.